now about to enter the nerve center to the entire Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities. Some of my realities become dreams. What's going on, Monty's YouTube? I. This is the That's whole. Done, this is the whole crew. This is Monty's crew right here. Double time, double time fitness. This is Dr. Laverty. She's the head of our department here. She's the she's the real OG. There's Angela. She's the boss. Oh, period. Give him a shine. Get a little stretch action in before we hit the, before we hit the dari. I hit the dari. You're always gonna want to do a light warm up, especially for the hips, the shoulders. I mean, get them moving, but at least two to three movements for the hips, um, just to make sure they're warmed up. Because most of the people that you're gonna do a dari on are not athletes. <laughs> <laughs> and even if they are, nobody actually taught them how to move at any point, unless they're track. If they ran track, they know how to move. Other than that, they play a sport. They play baseball, they play basketball, they know how to play that sport. It does not mean they know how to control their body. Um, most athletes underutilize their glutes and their hamstrings, except for the track athletes. They are properly taught how to use their glutes and their hamstrings. Everybody else, you, you run funny, just fix it. And that's, it. That's, the <laughs> that's exactly that's the instruction you get from the coach. You know so. <laughs> I run with purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna be my man today. Not you. Not you. Not you. Nice to meet you guys. Um, you don't have to keep the mask on during the test because I am gonna warm you up. That's up to you. All right, so first thing I want you to do, hands on the wall, you're gonna give me 10 swings this way, you're gonna turn, you're gonna give me 10 swings this way, and you're gonna do that to both legs, all right? Three, four, and the warm up you put them through, it's coach's choice, but I usually try to keep it real simple. Leg swings, a couple vertical jumps, a couple side lunges, couple arm swings, and then when I go to actually acquire the skeleton, I finish warming them up with that, um, just to kind of streamline the process. Because nobody wants to be in here for an hour. You know, you can get them out in 30 minutes, it's better. Are there, um, how many moves in each? Is there one that's 19 and one that's 17? Yes, so the, the two main protocols that we use here are the performance and the 360. Okay. The 360 we only use on someone that cannot jump. So if they're coming in to get their Dari done and they're coming off of an ankle or a knee injury or even a hip injury and have not been completely cleared to work out, then we will put them through the performance protocol because it takes all the bounds and the jumps out of it. Otherwise, they do the performance. Whether they're athlete, general population, child, does not matter. So 360 is for the- 360 is if you're injured. If you're, if you're injured. And then the performance, the performance is, is for everyone else. And the yeah. 360, so which one is the 19? 19 is the performance. And 17 is the 360. Is the three, uh, I think it's 16, because it takes out, it takes out the two level bounds, it takes out the depth jump. Okay. And it takes out the vertical jump too. Okay. So it might only be 15. What is the lowest and oldest age? For, for the testing. Anyone. Anybody can do it. So if you're old enough to understand the instruction, you're old enough to get the assessment done. Um, or if you're old and can still understand instruction, then you can do it. If you cannot understand instruction, then you will do it. Nice wide stance, lateral lunge, stretch it out at the bottom. You're going to give 10 of those to each side.
Alright, now just give me ten or five hertz. It's right here. Give me five hertz. You have to leave the ground. You have to leave the ground? Yes. Yes, Monty, yeah. The goal is to get off the ground. Alright, now I'm going to just tell you how it's going to go right down. Bring it all the way up. Yep, I'm all the way up. Give me 10 of those. We will have a day, and is it principles? Principles class? Where we just, we do a day of like yoga stretching. Are we doing all stretches? I have okay. my mats, my blocks. Because that's what it is. You're like, let me know. Let me know. I'm going to tell you a call. Yeah. It's in the car right now, actually. <laughs> Is the day the day? It's the day. Yeah. 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 So they're setting this on that black hand. All right. Arms up like this. Open your hands. Drop your hands just a little bit for me. Stay right there. Why does only one? So now you're starting, right? So well, so this is so. First part of the warm up. He's almost there. Okay. We get the skeleton on him. Oh, okay. That's legit. Here. And now I'm going to finish up the warm up so that this thing can still dial it to make sure that the skeleton actually stays on. So from here, you're going to now put your hands up a little bit. Now you're going to give me five lunges to each side, but you're going to lunge and rotate. So you're going to lunge, rotate, back up, five to each side, okay? Now, this is actually part of the protocol. It says that when you acquire the skeleton, to make them do this movement to help acquire the skeleton. Okay. For time purposes, I have just lumped the two together. I so I do I do three quarters of my warm up, then I acquire the skeleton, have them go through the lunges to finish warming up. That way I'm not doubling down, and that way again we're not in here for 45 minutes doing something that should That's take us twenty. That's cool. Okay. Where you are, go. Pick those up. Yeah, boy. Alright, so as as you guys can see, he's all lined up now. Flat forward, kick forward, he's all connected. So we're good. Sorry, yeah, I'm in Now, like I was saying, for every single movement we do, it gives you the name of the movement. And it tells you exactly how it should be instructed. So when you're learning, obviously you're gonna you're gonna read it, and then you're gonna come over and you're gonna instruct them, and then you're gonna forget what you just read, and you're gonna go back and read it again. Then you're gonna finish your instruction, then you're gonna do the movement. So as you're learning to do this, it takes a really long time. Once you get your process down, like I said, it's a 20 minute. We get them in, we get them out. Um, for today's purposes. I'm not taking this height as weight because I just have a dummy file in there. But for all the assessments we do, we weigh them, we take their height every single time. Doesn't matter if they came to you and said, oh, I was at the doctor this morning. I don't care what your doctor found. I need to know for sure that the numbers that I have are accurate because your height and your weight and how this is graded are all connected. So if I say he's two inches shorter and 50 pounds lighter than he is, the score I get is going to be no good. Okay. So the way this is going to work, uh, see, everybody does it. <laughs> everybody does it. <laughs> At least once. Check yourself out, give it a look. Yeah. All right. I'm going to demonstrate. We're going to agree you know what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to go over there, I'm going to push the button, and you're going to do the movement by yourself, okay? So first motion, you're going to start palms facing me. You're going to bring them up all the way together. Bring them right back down. Keep your eyes forward the whole time, okay? And go. No. Bring them up. Bring them down. Good. Just once. You're good. We're good. So you do the movement. You record the movement. If he did something weird there that I didn't like, I just hit try again. I can make him do it again. So you're not locked into it. Um, and at any point, if, let's say, again, you guys are just learning, you get a couple movements in and you're like, oh, wait, the one I told him to do earlier now is this one. You can go back 
and still fix that motion. So it doesn't mess up the whole scan. You can re-record any of the movements, okay? Do the students that extern here learn how to do that? Yes. Do you guys do that? Yep. Okay. Let's yep. Like that. We're going to start right here. We're going to bring it back as far as we can. We're going to bring it back together one time, okay? Your load, 
your load was here. Forward, yeah. right? Yeah. Your load like should be out. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say you explode falling, falling yeah. forward. Use that, <laughs> Start spreading with me. Use that I'll butt. Fix it. Don't worry. Use that I butt, Monty. Alright. <laughs> now we got the balance. Okay. So you got a right leg down, hands on your hips, eyes forward. Left leg up, thigh parallel on the ground, 90 degree bend to the knee, toes up. Okay. You're gonna have to hold that position for 20 seconds. I'll give you a 10 second countdown, then I'll give you a three, two, one, relax. Okay? Alright. And bring that left leg up, and we're off. show you his summary when we get there but then we're also going to have all of this data on him so for each of the motions that I'm doing right now you can take a look to see what we actually get out of it nice. um, and then just everybody take a look at that he's working on that vertical is what he needs to work on not trying to be me that's okay right, so yeah, we'll the right leg cool. left leg up jump Yes, sir. Wow. Now we're going to do the left leg. Impressive. That's not so impressive. And. <laughs> go. Oh, you're going to go. Oh, man. 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 But we're good. We're good. You're still in one piece. <laughs> we're back in this position. All right. First one, we're going to go back with the left leg. Don't let that knee touch the ground. Rotate to the right. Back up to where we start. And go. Back to the left. Turn to the right. Back to where we started. Now we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go back to the right, turn to the left. Okay. All right. Uh, bring your elbows up a little bit. Right there. And go. Jesus. Back to the right. Sort of. Back to the left. There we go. Sort of. Monty, we got to do some yoga. Good. <laughs> we're going to have to work on some lunges. Yeah, we're going to have to work on some lunges. Did you know what to expect when you volunteer? Yes. Okay. Something that I wanted to record. <laughs> <laughs> He's going on his YouTube. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Quadruped T-spine, anything that's going to have you rotating at the back and not the hips. Okay. Okay. Shoulder motion. You have accessory motion? Probably. That's your injury. Oh, no. Mm. Your motion was below. So you're tight. Are you right-handed? Yes. Okay. So a lot of people are tight on their dominant side, especially today because we spend a lot of time in front of the computer. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're here with our dominant hand. Um, but it's both of your shoulders. So... What is this telling us? From here to here, turn it back to me. From here to here, and from here to here, my man is a concrete block. Damn. <laughs> we, need to, we, we, need to, yeah, we need to work on all of this. Stretching. Stretch them out, keep them moving. Yeah. Um, shoulder work that you're doing, get rid of the barbell, start using dumbbells, mm -hmm. all those kinds of things. Um, you know, prone rows, scapular retraction, all of these things are going to get his shoulders moving. Mm -hmm. How much do you weigh? Uh, 245. And how tall are you? About 6'2"? Six 6'2". Two? Six two. Yeah, okay. So, what sport did you play? Uh, football. Uh, football. <laughs> okay, okay. So that actually, so you spent a lot of time with rucksack yeah. on. There you go, because then you have to keep your shoulders yeah. down. So then every, everything tightens up. So now you're, you're just stuck like that. Mm -hmm. So you just need to, you just need to stretch that out. Okay. Cool. Free cool. weight. Really cool. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. I want to get you in trouble. We got to go. Um, just make a left to that little doorway. I'm going to get you guys in there. Yes. Everybody in there. This is the main I'm sure you guys got quite a few people in the military. Oh, yeah. I, I say who? Who? I say who? Army, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, what? Two tours. Oh, what, 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 what? Two tours over here. Let me, let me, let me guess. Something. Air Force? What? Air Force? Now you're really insulting me. <laughs> that's what that's. You said, oh. Yeah, you said, oh. <laughs> we got to go Air Force. Air Force. <laughs> All day, every day. Bye. Bye. 23 years. 23 years? Yes. I stopped counting after six. Yeah. I was going to say, he's probably going to go back to 86 and come this way. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of fighting. Good? Good? All right. Now take your palm, cover that hole in the front. <laughs> and then give me a light blow. Oh, you're ready for air legs. Are there any air legs? Do it again. Good. It's actually tight. So from here, I'd say lay down and relax. <laughs> on, your back, on, your, on your back to start. I don't care what you do after we would start. But from here, you connect the center and you start the chest. That's it. Now, the things that you want to look for on this test, when you're running the test, you can, here, let me get this off you. <laughs> you don't need to keep this down. Okay. So.
there you go. So I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. That was pretty dope. Uh, Kicking with some of my classmates at uh, Pride Strength. Might be doing an internship here, man. It's pretty cool here. Um, shit. It's just part of the day in the life, baby. We out of here.